Okay, so you can add a new phone in uh, GIMP. So I can click on here on text. And uh, if I want, I can add some text here, right? I can start typing here. Sorry, it's too big that. And uh, now you can control Command A to highlight and here I can enter 10 let's say and now I should see the text so yeah now I have this text here but maybe I would like to go here and change this to a different phone now you can write here a a you know you find it shows you different phones but maybe it's not the one you want so in this case we're gonna have to go to this website that's the website i use usually but there are so many others you can choose from i'm just showing this website because that's the one i use okay so this is the website i use it's called one um thousand one phones.com and as you can see you can also use them for commercial so here you see this phone is free for commercial but there are also others that you can't use for commercial as you can see this phone is free for personal use so i like to actually use this uh, phone here i'm going to click on download and then uh, we can click on this folder that will zip uh, will all get unzipped on windows you just have to unzip it yourself and then i can click on this folder on this file right here and here you have some information, but I can click now on this one. And with this uh, one here, with this file, if you open this file, you can actually install this phone. And that's what you have to do for Windows, for Mac OS as well. So here I can click on install now. And now I can type, so this is the name. I can type this name and I can search this phone. So I'm too lazy to type the name of the phone. So I'm just going to paste this here if it's possible. Okay, it's not because uh, Mac OS sometimes is annoying. So yeah, I can type here the phone. And uh, as you can see, if you can't find the phone, it's not showing. That's because you can, uh, you should restart uh you should restart GIMP. So now I restarted it. So sorry about this. So here now I can open this again. Actually, let's just create a new image here. Now I can add some text. So now I can type here something and I can look for the phone I just installed. And the fold is called this, that's the name. And I can type and select it. And now I have this phone here. I can now increase the size. And that's the phone I just installed and I have it here. I hope you found this helpful. It's very simple to install phones, but at first I didn't know. At first, uh, first time I, first time I decided I want to change the phone. I didn't know, so that's okay. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure you subscribe for more.